Please observe this small house. This house was mentioned earlier in the previous video 3D models, and can be stacked together through various shapes. So this series of videos is about how to build a model of a small house and a cup with a handle using Magic 3D. To model with Magic 3D, let's start by understanding the basic interface and features of Magic 3D. On the left side of the interface is the design elements. We're clicking icons, switch between different elements, facilitating convenient model needs. At the bottom of the interface is the model editing function, allowing further editing or modification. Here you can change viewports or zoom in or out. In the window on the right side of the interface, parameters can be modified. Each displayed item corresponds directly to the dimensions and position of a shape. Additionally, the right side contains a worth of 3D models that can be directly dragged onto the main interface to be models. By clicking the Show button, you can toggle its visibility. At the top left of the interface is the file operation area, where files can be created, loaded, imported, and exported. This is the layout of the interface. Then let's get familiar with the operations. Click on the shape, then click on the corresponding position in the grid to place the shape. Place the shape close to the origin. Use the mouse screw wheel or the zoom in or out button to adjust the size of the viewport. Hold down the scroll wheel to move the view. Click on the face of the cube in the bottom left corner to switch viewing angles. You can also click on the icons on the right to switch perspectives. Also, hold down the right mouse button to rotate view. Click on the height icon to hide the grid. Click copy, then click on the shape to duplicate it. Click delete to remove it. Click here to undo an action. Click here to redo an action. Left click with the mouse to select individual shape. Hold the left mouse button and drag. You can change the position of the solid within the XY plane. Hold left mouse button and drag the red arrow. This is just the position of the shape along the D axis. You can quickly change the dimensions of the solid by dragging the corresponding cube. You can also directly input values in the window to accurately modify the shape size or position. The unit here is millimeters. Alternatively, you can left click on the red cube and input numerical values to precisely adjust dimensions of the solid. Drag the three double head arrows and the shape to achieve rotation in space. 
This drag and patience can be performed precisely by clicking the shape and inputting numerical values. Last, using editing commands. Basic shapes can be combined to create more diverse shapes. Union is merging two models to become a single entity. Subtraction is cutting one model from another to get the left part. It's important to note the order in which the shapes are clicked. Intersecting is to find the intersection of two models. You can obtain the common part shared by both models. The added shape as a whole can undergo corresponding position and size modifications. Cancel Boolean allows the combined shapes to return to their pre-combined state. Using the Fill function can change the color of the model. You can color the model by clicking the color, then click the model. When performing the save operation, the default format is .3MG which can be used for subsequent editing. When performing the export operation, the default format is .xstl, suitable for 3D printing. Through the open operation, .3mg format files can be reopened, allowing the model to be edited again. Through the import operation, .xstl format files can be imported in Geomagic 3D. Note that the imported .xstl models are treated as a whole. Above, we introduce the Magic 3D interface layout, various operations, and added features. We hope that while or after watching the video, you practice these operations. Practice makes perfect. See you!